Now, you may remember the scenes of celebration from last month. A High Court judge had just forbidden two of the West's biggest councils from cutting funding for lots of libraries. So it might come as a surprise to find out that another of our big councils has confirmed it's going ahead with similar cuts. And campaigners fear it can't be stopped. Our political editor, Paul Baltrop, reports from Dorset. A small distance inside Dorset, but a big difference. Said to be the county's smallest town, Stalbridge is classic West Country. It has three pubs, a dozen shops, a primary school and a library, funded, but not for much longer, by the council. Dorset's border with Somerset is only about a mile down the road, and there are a great many similarities between the two counties. But while campaigners there successfully took the council to court to stop library funding being slashed, campaigners here have been forced to admit they've left it too late. The cuts are going ahead. It's one of nine which the County Council won't staff after next summer as it cuts £800,000 from its library budget. Regular users are angry. I can't understand what they're doing. I really can't. I mean, it's, it's such a wonderful amenity to the, the village. Last month's High Court ruling that stopped Somerset and Gloucestershire County Councils from similar cuts had given campaigners hope. But lawyers advised against a similar challenge to the relief of the County Council. We weren't worried. Well, we were worried, anxious, because you never know, um, finally, what's going to come out of a judicial review. But we were confident that we had gone about it properly. Today, outside Stalbridge Library, supporters gathered. We've decided to um, accept the fact that we've, we've lost the challenge as far as that goes and uh, try and uh, push on and do our own thing locally. Yeah. They're being bold. The town council may take over with volunteers and even expand. There comes a point where you have to stop waving the placards and find another way of doing it. And I think this is what Stalbridge is doing for itself. It's ambitious, but we're not deterred by it. I think it's, it is the way of saving the library. Another satisfied customer. Locals only hope he'll still be able to come here when he grows up. Paul Baltrop, BBC Points West, Stalbridge.